Well, the LAPD needs your help to find this man. They say he caused chaos and confusion at the Westfield Century City Mall yesterday after reports of an active shooter caused people to run for the exits. Police quickly swarmed the mall and eventually gave the all clear. KKL 9's Hermela Aragawi has more on the scare in Century City. Was there a guy with a gun or? Amit Cohen took this cell phone video as LAPD helped customers evacuate the Century City Mall in what became an hours long ordeal as officers looked to confirm reports of an active shooter. These people are just running around screaming active shooter, active shooter, so I freak out. They unlocked the door and they told my wife and I and the other people inside to leave and to run that way. Former Florida gubernatorial candidate Andrew Gillum happened to be inside the mall's Apple store as the situation unfolded. We'll tell you in all honesty, my heart dropped a little bit. I wasn't sure uh, 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 what the situation was when you look out and you see people literally sprinting. Gillum and his companion were moved to the store's basement along with other customers. One of the employees kept saying, this is OK, this is OK, this is normal, this is normal. And I totally got what they were trying to do. They wanted to keep everybody calm. But I kept thinking, and Kevin and I looked at each other and said, this is not normal. Police initially responded to reports of a man with a gun inside the mall's Amazon store around 1240 in the afternoon. From what I heard, he was burning some books or something, and someone told him to stop, and he pulled out a gun. Police say there was no evidence of a shooter and reopened the mall about five hours later. They tell us they're investigating the incident as arson. Again, police say there was no evidence of an active shooter, and this is, in the end, being investigated as arson. Reporting in Century City, I'm Hermel Aragawi, KCAL 9 News.